Good morning, children. How are you all, my dear kids? Good, very good. So, can you guess today's lesson? Look at the picture. Try to guess. Ah, uh, well, some of you might have guessed it. Okay, no problem. If you were not able to guess, no problem at all. Today's lesson. It's a poem. The last. Bargain. So, children, let's begin. So, the summary of the last bargain. The last bargain is a what? It's a poem, children. And it is written by a very famous and renowned Bengali poet, Rabindranath Tagore. It is a poem about a person looking for a job. The speaker in the poem is searching for a job in which he does not have to lose his freedom. He receives the first proposal from a king. The king offers him power in return for his labor. Labor means hard work. But he refuses the king's offer. He says no. Okay, okay. So he receives the second offer from a rich man. He offers the speaker lots of gold in return for his labor, in return for his hard work. But the speaker refuses his offer also. He receives the third offer from a beautiful girl. She says that she will give him smiles in return for his labor, in return for his hard work. The speaker refuses her offer too. In the end, he finds a child playing on the seashore. The child says that he will offer him nothing in return for his services. The speaker accepts the child's offer as he can still be a free man. Children, all that he wants is to be a free man. He wants freedom. The last bargain is a poem describing the story of a man who is in search of a job. He wants a job in which he can work without losing his freedom. So that's the point to be noted. He does not want to lose his freedom. The speaker receives the offer from powerful, rich and beautiful, but turns all of them down. He finally accepts the offer of a child, which is the last bargain. The speaker receives the first offer from a king early in the morning. The king possesses more power than wealth. Possesses means he has. Thus the king offers him power in return for his services. But the speaker thinks that his power is not much worth it. It may fade soon. It may come to an end. So he refuses to accept the offer. He gets a second offer from a rich man in the midday afternoon. The rich old man offers him a lot of gold for his services. Gold and wealth did not attract the speaker because he was not interested in power, in money, in wealth. All that he wanted was what? Freedom. He feels that money will be spent soon and it cannot buy everlasting happiness. Yes, you cannot buy happiness with money. He thus refuses his offer too. Okay, in the evening there was natural beauty and flowers all around. A beautiful girl with a pretty smile offers him smiles in return for his services. The speaker feels that her happiness was sorrowful in disguise. Actually, she had some sorrows hidden 
in her within her but she was trying to hide her sorrows she is trying to hide her unhappiness she is pretending to be happy yes so thus he did not find it also suitable for him so he turned down this offer ultimately while walking he reaches the seashore there he finds an innocent child playing with sea shells he plays there with him the child says that he cannot pay he can pay nothing in return for the labor for the hard work of the speaker the speaker accepts his offer he feels that while playing with the child he will not lose his freedom he will still be a free man and will receive everlasting happiness playing with the innocent child children are very innocent this was the last bargain that made the speaker accept it as he was not to compromise his freedom all that the speaker wanted was freedom conclusion of the last bargain for real and everlasting happiness we do not need power money or beauty freedom and innocence can make a person's life happy and contented yeah very true children okay i recap once again of the summary the poem is about someone looking for a job yes the speaker is looking for a job yes correct however he wants to be hired without losing his freedom to him for him what is most important is freedom the poet tells us that he received offers from the rich the powerful and the beautiful however he turned them all down he immediately accepted the offer of an innocent child who was playing with sea shells yes children okay so then comes the king's proposal the first offer came from a king early in the morning he had more power than wealth he offered the man his power in return for the man's labor but did he like it no did he accept it no the man however felt that the king's might might means power strength was not worth much so he refused the king's offer then came the rich man's proposal the second offer came in the midday in the afternoon when it was really very hot an old man offered him a lot of gold in return for his labor the man was not much impressed he was not interested in wealth at all the wealth did not attract him so what did he do he refused that offer offer of the rich man the beauty's proposal then it was evening there was natural beauty all around there were flowers in the hedge a beautiful girl came to the man she gave a pretty smile she offered to give the man her smiles and return for his labor however the man found that her happiness was only sorrow in disguise she pretended to be happy actually she was not happy so he refused that offer also last proposal ultimately the man came to the seashore there he found a child playing with sea shells the child offered to take his services in return for nothing a small innocent child he has no money no wealth nothing the man accepted the offer because while playing with the child he was still a free man he wanted to be free that's all <clears throat> the moral of the poem what is it that money wealth power or beauty cannot give you happiness and it is very very true you cannot buy happiness with power or beauty or money only when one feels true pleasure true happiness at seeing something one finds happiness no one was able to hire the poet 
either with power or with beauty, but a child's innocence and simplicity are enough to hire him for life. So to him, what was important was freedom. So children, remember this poem is written by, who has written this poem? Rabindranath Tagore. In the first stanza, the poet describes a man who is looking for work. Children, I am doing the summary part again and again so that you are absolutely thorough with the poem. You understand it. Otherwise, you cannot answer the questions in the examination and otherwise also. Okay, so in the first stanza, the poet describes a man who is looking for work. The man cried and asked to be hired while he was walking in the morning on the road filled with stone. Then a king, a king came on a chariot. What is a chariot? Rat in Hindi it is called. Who had a sword in his hand. Talwar. Sword means talwar. He offered him power in return for his service. The man felt that the king was not worth much. So he refused the king's offer. He was not interested in wealth, power and money. The second offer came to him in the afternoon when the weather was scorching, burning with heat. Yes, he was surprised when he saw an older man with a bag of gold approaching him along the twisted road. The older man thought, of a, thought for a while and then offered him gold coins in return for his labor. The man did not accept his offer as he felt that gold could not buy everlasting happiness. In the evening, the man saw a beautiful garden full of flowers and fence of plants. A lady who looked after the garden came out and said, What? She would give him a smile in return for his Work. The man found out that her smile was a short time. For a short time it was temporary and would melt into tears. Subsequently, he refused her offer also. Finally, the man reached the seashore. He found a small boy, innocent child, Playing with seashells, he raised his hand and said he had nothing to give him in return for his work. The man accepted his offer as he felt that he would not have to compromise his freedom. Yes. So here's a poem, stanza one. In the first stanza, the speaker says that one day, while he was walking on the stone, paved road in the morning, the king came in his chariot with a sword in his hand. Seeing him, the speaker pleads the king to hire him. So he was walking on the stone paved road, road made of stones, which had stones. Seeing him, the speaker pleads the king to hire him. So speaker was walking on a stone paved road in the morning. The king came in his chariot with a sword in his hand. Seeing him, the speaker pleads the king to hire him. Note that it is a morning time that symbolizes hope and courage. So, morning symbolizes hope and courage. Hence, the poet seems to be hopeful. Stone paved road here means a difficult path, a uh, road full of stones. Yeah, that, could, that is also possible. King in his chariot with a sword means a person with power. So, there's, these things indicate certain things. See, sword indicates power, well, stone paved. Yeah, if it could be made of stone, that could be one of the meanings. Another meaning could be what? Stone symbolizes difficult, difficult path. So the speaker pleads to the king, which means that he is in need of something badly. He asks the king to hire him. Hire here means that poet wants to get what the king has the king holds the hand of the speaker and says that he will hire him with his power. However, power to be seems to be not of no value, worthless to the speaker because, because it is not everlasting. 
the king will die soon and so his powers so he's not interested in wealth he's not interested in powers the speaker is thus not satisfied what the king offered him he rejects the offer and the king goes away in his chariot in this stanza the speaker describes his first struggle to get something that fails second stanza now it is the day time very hot outside the doors of houses are closed the speaker is wandering along the crooked lane moving here and there crooked lane means bent or uneven road thus like the stone paved road of the stanza this road is also difficult and full of troubles soon an old man comes out of his house along with a bag of gold that is huge wealth he pondered he thought pondered means thought thought carefully and finding that the speaker is in need of something offers him money and says that he will hire him with that the old man in order to show how wealthy he was starts counting his gold coins one by one however like the power of the king wealth of old seems to be worthless because speaker was not interested in gold speaker was not interested in wealth he was not interested in power the speaker understands that wealth is not something which he needs because like the power it does not remain in one hand forever he wants something else he wants freedom and thus goes away okay now stands the three now it is evening time and the garden hedge the fence or boundary is a flower blooming with flowers in the in other words the garden is looking very beautiful and romantic a fair maid that is a beautiful lady comes out and says that she wants to hire him that is the speaker with a smile that is with a beauty however the speaker finds that like the king's power and old man's wealth her beauty is also not everlasting yeah it will fade away one day soon the smile of that beautiful lady is paled and melted with tears that is gone and she goes back along into the dark dark here symbolizes hopelessness yes he understands that a smile that made her look beautiful is fake and not everlasting it has hidden sorrows of the lady the day is over but the speaker fails to make a bargain however he has patience and persistence he does not give up stanza 4 in the final stanza the new day comes with new hope and courage for the speaker he is at the sea shore the sea and sees the sun glistening shining on the sand and the sea waves breaking that is striking waywardly means in an unpredictable way this whisper presented by the speaker symbolizes his love and appreciation for nature soon he finds a child sitting on the seashore and playing with seashells this is symbolic image as a child has no desire for power or wealth or or beauty he is free of all these things which make the man a servant the child raises his head sees the speaker it looks to the speaker that the child knows him <coughs> it looks at the speaker as if he knows him seeing the speaker in a quest search for something the child offers to hire him with nothing nothing is a profound symbol it means freedom liberty independence free from all desires the speaker understands that this was what he was longing for since long happiness 
He accepts the child's offer and from thence forward, then on, from that day onwards, the speaker finds freedom in the child's play and thus becomes a free man. He wanted to be a free man. He's now a free man. This was the ultimate destination of the speaker. He wanted to be free. He is now free. So he has achieved what he wanted. He wanted what? Freedom. That's all that he wanted. He was not interested in power. He was not interested in wealth. Not interested in money. He was not interested in beauty. Yes, he was interested only, only in freedom. And where did he find this freedom? In the innocence of the child. So, he accepts this bargain. Okay, children, what are you supposed to do? Read the poem at least two times. Read the summary at least two to three times. Note down the summary. Read it again and again with proper understanding. Underline the difficult words. Look up the meanings of the difficult words and write them down. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye.